So we're just coming into the Gulf of Mexico and on this uh, engine monitoring panel here, this number right here reflects our sea temperature, which is 26.8 degrees Celsius. So when we have warm water and it's really hot outside, we like to go swimming. but it's deep good way to cool down after work so to fill the pool we use uh, one of the pumps here we have a general service pump which is also part of the fire main system and that pump just pumps some um, seawater so salt water into that pool usually we have the cadets go out there to clean it because it's so close to the engine exhaust stack that a lot of the soot comes off the stack there and it kind of dirties it up So we're off the coast of Florida right now and we're fighting the Gulf Stream current. So that's one of the reasons why we try to stay pretty close to shore due to where the location of the Gulf Stream runs, which is from the south to the north. So our current speed over the ground is 17.8 knots and our speed through the water is 20.2 knots. So when we find the difference between that, we can figure out what kind of currents we're fighting, which is about two and a half knots of current and since our speed over the ground is less than our speed to the water, that means we're fighting head currents. And if it was the opposite, meaning the speed over, speed over ground was higher than the speed through the water, that would mean we had following currents. If I load our next route for when we leave Houston on our way up to Norfolk, that voyage is the blue route you can see since we're heading in the northerly direction, we want to be in the current and take full advantage of that extra speed boost. We can compare our distances. So we've gone 280 miles. This is based off of the GPS over the ground versus 320 miles through the water. So you can tell most of this trip so far has been fighting currents. If our water distance was less than our distance over the ground, that would mean that we had uh, following currents for most of the trip. The shipping companies usually only supply Folgers or Maxwell House, so many mates like to bring their own coffee on board. company called Working Class Coffee, which is a new coffee brewer based in Philly uh, that started in 2020. They were kind enough to send me four pounds of some of their different coffees here, and I really enjoy it. I'd say it's uh, just as good as any other premium brand coffee, such as Starbucks. So I highly recommend you guys try out the Working Class Coffee. engineer just installed this brand new bun coffee machine. Brand new commercial grade coffee pot to replace this temporary one we we're using.
like that that really make this job worth it.